heavyweight boxing fans, what's the deal? So somebody asked me a very interesting question on one of the videos I did today. Uh, Lennox Lewis says that he believes that Anthony Joshua could possibly be undisputed champion. So go check that video out if you haven't already today. But somebody in the comments section and his username is Money Man Money Man. So shout out to you. Uh, for leaving this question he he says that he thinks Bo beats Lewis and he asked me what do I think about that okay so that is a fight that I definitely wanted to happen in the 90s along with uh a old Foreman versus a old Holmes uh there's a lot of fights that I want to happen man back in the 90s but to this fight specifically now we know the history they fought each other in the Olympic games we know how it is in the amateurs just because you beat somebody in the amateurs does not mean you can beat them in the pros Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. Example, uh, Henry Tillman beat Tyson two times in the amateurs. Tyson completely wiped them out when they were pros. Uh, Ray Mercer, he beat Tommy Morrison in the, uh, was it the uh, USA Olympic trials? He beat him, right? Got to the pros, beat him again. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Guys are completely different fighters once they turn professional. Sometimes they get better. Sometimes they're not even uh, that much more better when they were amateurs when they turned pro. So I'm not taking that into consideration. Then we know the history with uh, Bo when he had the WBC title. He dumped it in the garbage, didn't fight uh, Lennox Lewis. Okay, so I'm taking the best Lennox versus the best Bo. Okay, um, I believe that at his best Lennox Lewis is a better inside I mean Bo is a better inside fighter than Lennox Lewis I believe that Bo had trouble sometimes when the other fighter can establish his jab not only you know now I know Galata was hitting him in his nuts and that was the reason why that was one of the reasons why he was hurting Bo but what I thought was giving Bo trouble was when he was working his jab the second fight with Holyfield I thought Holyfield won that fight and it was a close fight but I thought Holyfield was getting a better bow in that fight when he was able to establish his jab and his movement and he just didn't sit there and uh, try to fight an inside fight with Bo. On the inside I think Bo will work Lennox over. I do. I think every time guys got close Lennox had to clamp down on you. He would sometimes use his free hand to hit you. He would do his old uh, he'll you know put all his weight on you and try to you know, uh, punch you while he has his weight sitting on you. He wasn't a, he wasn't a good as an inside fighter as Bo. I'll, I'll, so I'll give that to Bo. Lennox, though, I believe had the jab. He had the patience and he had a good enough right hand where I think he could have kept Bo at bay. And there could have been some rounds where both of these guys could have been, you know, having a fencing match, you know, kind of like a, uh, who was that? When Pulev fought Klitschko, those first few rounds, they're like having a fencing match with the jab. I could see that happening in this fight. Um, I believe that uh, I believe that Lennox would have been strong enough to just hold on to Bo and just wait until the ref breaks him. And if they were to stand and slug, I believe Lennox may be a little bit more powerful than Bo. I think it would be an interesting fight, but the best Bo versus the best Lennox, I'm going to pick Lennox Lewis by decision in that fight. Um, I think Bo will have his moments on the inside where I think he would rough Lennox up a little bit, but I think Lennox will fight back now just because I don't think he's a better inside fighter. He would fight back. And if you try to get into exchanges with him, he, he will fight back and he has a damn good right hand. You know what I mean? And, uh, but I do think this will be a fight where one of the guys will want to establish their jab. And I think they will both come out trying to do it. Um, if you want to say Bo had a little bit quicker hands, I can say that too. I mean, you can you know you can argue that, but I think Lennox Lewis, his jab and his right hand, will keep uh, Bo at bay. And you may say, well, both guys are big, you know, tall guys with long reaches, but I think Lennox will get Bo's timing, man. He'll time it with that jab. He'll triple up, double up on a jab, jab quadruple up on the jab. I see Lennox winning this fight, man. I don't think Bo could have beat him as as, as a pro. It will be a close fight, will be an interesting fight. And if you have Bo winning this fight, I could see why, but I don't know, man. I just I just think uh Lennox is the stronger of the two when they're both at their best. Um and I believe Bo was more of a fighter. Like he really didn't want I mean he wanted to use his jab to set up, but he was like a big he he had he had like the mindset of a of of a smaller heavyweight in a big guy's body. You know, now there are some fights I thought where he could have used his size to beat a lot of guys from that era, guys that he didn't get to fight. Um, I thought he would have gave Tyson some problems. 
you know. Um, but a guy like Lennox, I think, is all wrong for Riddick Bowe. Just my opinion. I'd love to see your comments, see what you guys think about it. I'm out.